swimmers with low rotation or high stroke rate will have little to no pause at the end of one rotation cycle. Even if this is the case, you can use your hip rotation to perfectly time your breath. The second component is to establish the head and body posture for the breath. Peak hip rotation is the position of your hips the moment they stop rotating, usually towards the end of your stroke. At this point, become familiar with the relationship of your head and your body. Notice your hips are rotated and your head is looking directly at the ground. If you were to replicate this posture while standing, your head would be turned to the side. This is the key starting position for your breath. Your hips will be rotated, your head will be looking at the ground, and your leading arm will be held gliding.